uh, Rowan Kaiser, who I almost called Rowan Foster. <laughs> <laughs> Ro Rowan is a member of the class of 2005. He has also been on campus uh, all year uh, fighting the fight and working the work. Um, and he is a co community manager, manager for the summer. Confidential film says, 
the community continues the struggle. The week after that trustees meeting, the alumni board slash college revival fund directors hold their regular meeting on campus. The alumni board and faculty work together to solve the problem of how to encourage faculty to stay during this uncertain period. Academics from the Alumni Association work intensely with college faculty to develop a significant enough plan that, by the end of the weekend, the College Revival Fund commits major financial support to what they decide to call, after some deliberation about the best name, Nonstop Antioch. There are three major components of the Nonstop Antioch movement. First, the educational component, the Nonstop Liberal Arts Institute, which you will hear much more about soon. Second, the attempt to gain the college by agreement, which Ellen and particularly Nancy have spoken to. And finally, the legal component, which Ellen spoke to. Shortly after the university's reaffirmation, the college faculty refiled their lawsuit to keep the college open. Money is needed for all arms of the movement, so therefore another major component is the fundraising. The nonstop Antioch phrase gains extra currency when the staff of the Institutional Advancement Office, the fundraisers, are set free by the University and College Administration. <laughs> they are rehired by the College Revival Fund, who rent out an office. They are rehired by the College Revival Fund, who also rent out an office on Xenia Avenue, so that fundraising, so fundraising may continue. A sign in front of the office declares the building to be non-stop Antioch campus or headquarters. Meanwhile, in response to poor leadership shown by university administrators, some elected members of ADSIL found ADSIL in exile. This is the initial email that Eric Miller sent out calling for the first meeting of it. It's a bit blurry, I'm sorry, but um, it's a good primary document. Absil in exile becomes Madsil, which becomes non-stop Absil, and finally ends up as the Executive Council, Exil. <laughs> the main frustration which creates Exil is the feeling that normal college governance channels are not being allowed to function for the planning of the future of the institution. Exil fills that need and is now the primary governance structure of non-stop Antioch. The faculty have their own curricular planning continuing. They hold two retreats in March while classes are still going on and in May after they've ended. Community members working on non-stop Antioch determine the need for coordination of the necessary functions and develop an executive collective of coordinators, educational offerings, administration, and external relations. The executive collective, EXIL, the College Revival Fund, the faculty, community government, and as many alumni, students, staff, and villagers as we can get are working non-stop on non-stop. That's the quick version of where we're at. But I'd also like to say a few words about why we are where we're at. Many people have spoken about how they hope Antioch can be saved. Hope, in my mind, means that you desire something to happen which is outside of your control, and that somebody else or something else will accomplish that for you. Throughout the last year, the vast majority of us have had hope that the negotiations would succeed. We can still hope for that. However, our consistent response to setbacks at the board level has been not depression, but resolution. Resolution to organize so we could do whatever we could do, whoever we happen to be. By that reason, I do not have hope that Nonsa will succeed. I have optimism. I have the optimism that we have the talent, money, energy, and determination to make the right things happen. It's in our hands, nobody else's. I have optimism that you all will join us. Thank you. Now, Susan Eckland Lee, Professor of Co-op and Administrative Coordinator for Nonstop Antioch. 